This is an application called Gesture Suite and it can essentially transform your device into a productivity machine. So in essence, the app basically allows you to set up essentially unlimited actions that can then be triggered via custom gestures and shortcuts. Whether you want to open up the camera by drawing the letter C or start a sound recording by waving your hand twice, or perhaps you want your flashlight to come on when you shake your phone. Well, all of that and more can be set up using this very app. Second on the list today is AppDrop. And this is a really special application for two key reasons. The first being that it's an app that I now use all the time. But then on top of that, it's also the third ever application released by me. So if you have a bunch of disused apps installed on your phone and you're looking for a super easy way to batch uninstall all of them in one go, well then this is the app for you. You just run through the list and tap on any app you don't need installed anymore and then tap on uninstall. That then triggers the uninstall process for each application. And trust me when I say this simple feature alone truly saves me an unearthly amount of time. You can also view apps you've previously uninstalled via this page here. Plus, you can also sort your apps using various methods, switch to a grid view layout if you like, and if you upgrade to the premium version, then you can even use the app to extract APKs to your phone, which is super handy if you have an app installed on your phone that is no longer available on the Play Store, because now you have a super easy way to get that app onto other devices. The app also has a really clean and fluid design, if I do say so myself, plus a beautiful dark theme to go with. And on top of that, along with a bunch of other apps featured in today's video, if you sign up as a channel member within the first week of this video going live, then you will actually get the premium version of this app completely for free. Following that is calendar notification. And with the app enabled, you'll actually get this really nifty calendar widget right in your notification panel. And that's about it. You can tweak how prominent the notification is as well as change the icon style, which is pretty cool. But if you upgrade to the premium version, then you can unlock a pretty huge range of additional features, including viewing your calendar event information. Super simple, but really cool. After that is Frizzy KWGT, a beautiful widget pack made by one of the all time great widget pack designers, Raj Arya. At the time of making this video, the pack comes with a whopping total of 145 custom made widgets, each of which have this beautifully vibrant design to them. But what also makes it quite a special pack is that it just recently added support for this replica version of the Widgie widget featured in my recent iOS setup video. And in fact, I've actually just made a replica of that entire iOS setup using Nova Launcher, which you can find within my app palette, making it super easy to recreate on your own phone. Next up is Flex, which is a really cool app that automatically scrolls any content on your phone for you. You just set up which apps you want it enabled for, and once you launch any of those apps, you'll get this floating widget that gives you a bunch of options for automatically scrolling the content. You can adjust the speed of the scrolling or quickly scroll an entire page if you like, and the app just works surprisingly well. Okay then. Next up on the list today is Revance Manager. And if you're familiar at all with the Vance community, then this is definitely an app that you'll at least want to try. And that's because up until this point, if you wanted to use the new version of Vance YouTube called Revance, then the safest way to do so was to build your own APK using the source code files found on GitHub. Well, Revance Manager now provides a much simpler way to do so. With the app open, you just tap here where it says Patcher, then tap Select Application. Then select from the list of apps, so let's say YouTube as an example, then tap on Select Patches, and enable any of these patches you'd like to add to the app you're modifying. Then you tap on Patch, tap Yes, and then you let the app do its thing. Once complete, you hit Install, and there you go, your very own modded version of YouTube is now installed. Keep in mind, the app is still in alpha, so it may be a little buggy. And then we have Goalie, which is a really simple yet genius habit tracker application that seamlessly integrates with your Google Calendar. You just select a goal, set up when and how often you'd like to achieve that goal. And then once you hit the tick button, the app will intelligently add those goals to your Google Calendar in and around your schedule. And I've got to say, having goals integrated directly into the Google Calendar like this, rather than a separate app, is a super effective way to ensure you actually stay on top of them. Okay, if you're looking for a way to reduce the amount of time you spend on your phone or within specific applications, then AppBlocker is an application designed to help. 
You just set up any apps you'd like to be blocked. And from there on out, anytime you try to open that app, you'll be greeted with a pop-up encouraging you to stay focused. You can also set up specific websites to be blocked, which is really cool. And you can even set up profiles, which will switch the apps being blocked depending on the profile enabled. All right, if you're looking for a new wallpaper pack, but you have no clue how to choose one of the hundreds available on the Google Play Store, then perhaps you might want to instead make your own using Gradient Wallpaper Maker. Now the app comes with a whole heap of really neat preset wallpapers to choose from, which is great. But as the name indicates, what makes the app unique is that you can create your own gradient style wallpapers by selecting up to five different colors and then by tweaking the gradient style and orientation. You can land on some amazing looking wallpapers that will make any home screen setup look super sleek using this app. So well worth a try in my opinion. And so finally today we have Open App Scheduler. And as the name so helpfully implies, this is an app that lets you schedule any app to open automatically. Whether it be for a certain game that rewards you for opening the app each day or to bring certain apps to the foreground so you don't miss notifications, whatever the reason might be, this app will get the job done. You just tap the plus button here, select the app you want to open, then set a time and date for that automation to take place. You can also set it up to repeat every day if you need, but with that done, you just tap on save. And from then on out, the app will open your predetermined apps automatically for you. Just keep in mind, you may need to disable battery optimization for the app to work properly. And so there you have it, another 10 Android apps that I reckon you'll seriously get a kick out of downloading on your own phone. If you enjoyed the video, then a sub to the channel would be amazing. And as mentioned, I do also have promo codes for each of my channel members for some of the apps featured in today's video. So a huge shout out to each of the developers on screen right now. And like I said, if you wanna get the promo codes yourself, then all you need to do is sign up as a channel member within the first week or so of this video going live. And that's it. Don't forget to check out my app shelf if you want more information on each of the apps featured in not only today's video, but also every single top Android apps video I've ever made. Oh, and just a reminder that I do have a channel Discord and some of the apps featured in today's video were actually suggested on the app suggestions channel itself. So if you wanna join that really cool community, then the link is down below. Aside from that, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.